Hello and welcome my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius. Here is the extended part of your reading for this week of May the 1st to the 7th, 23. So let's see what we have for finance and career. Let's start our reading off as we normally do with that, the material part of your world, what you need to know about your finances and career. Well, you've got the sword and again, we talked about having to make choices here and standing in your truth, realizing what it is you truly want and when it comes to money in your life. There could be some conflict right now and you could be cutting corners, but there will be a breakthrough. Okay, I think you're going to see something happen here in a legal issue. Um, you know, you're, I'm seeing law and order here. And you may feel that you're fighting for something here on a legal basis when it comes to money. And uh, you might find that, uh, you know, you, you might be fighting because there might be a pay cut or you're wanting a raise here. You're, you're defensive. You're going to go out there. You might be feeling threatened, some of you, at your place of work that it's going to become redundant or you could actually be let go and fired. But when this card showed up in the original reading, I want to say that things are going to work out. I'm going to say that you stand in your truth. I'm going to say that you make the right choices and you're going to see that things can work out in your benefit because you got the gold card here. And the gold card says, um, you know, there's going to be some solid finances now. You may have money here that you might have come through in some sort of a settlement. And you will be able to invest it with integrity. Because you've got values and you need to know that you can care, you can put this into the bank and, and it's going to be long term and it's going to be invested well. I think you're going to find that your work is going to be satisfying from here on in. Okay, you're going to find a position here where you're going to be happy with it. So for some of you, you know, there may be a dispute here. You may even win a, um, uh, a wrongful dismissal suit here. I don't know. Some of you could be dealing with that where you're going to end up getting a payout and a settlement because the company wants to just settle and get over it, get it over with. They don't need the bad, they don't need the bad, uh, you know, defam uh, reputation here. So I do think now some of you could be receiving an inheritance or money or a remittance or, or you're getting money of some sort here. Uh, where you're going to find you'll have the fortune to make investments properly. Stand in your truth, okay? Now, let's see what we have here for relationships and or love. Keep in mind this is a general reading, okay? This isn't personal. Some of you might be able to relate to some of it and others nothing. So keep that in mind. This is love mate, life mate, uh, marriage, single, same sex, or partners even in business. So let's see what spirit has for you, Sagittarius, when it comes to relationships in your life. Thank you, spirit. That's one that flew out. There's two. Okay. Oh, okay. They're saying three. Okay. Thank you. There it is. All right. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to take this one underneath, okay, because it was stuck, and this one was stuck. Okay, all right, express your love very soon and forgiving and learning. So there could be a situation, uh, you know, that you have to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you, okay? Step in your truth. Don't be afraid. The choices that you're making here are going to be beneficial when it comes to relationships, whether they're friendship, whether they're partnership and business, whether they're love. Now, if you are with somebody, express that love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Don't be afraid to make the first move. If you've met somebody, and, you know, maybe you've met somebody on a dating app or you've met somebody that, you know, you both clearly know there's an attraction. Don't be afraid to step up and make the first move, the first, first phone call, the first text, the first initi initiative towards that relationship to let them know where they stand in your life and how you feel about them. You might be re you might be forgiving and learning a situation, some of you. And now, you know, I've told you this card is kind of confusing to me. But as you release and heal the past, your experience, uh, you experience more love in your present moments. That's not the one I was thinking. The one I was thinking was forgive your parents. So you might have to let things go. If you've been in a relationship in the past that you're carrying that residual of energy around in your heart, you have to let it go. It's, if they're great memories, if you were left, you know, without somebody, they passed away on you or something, you're always going to carry that love with you. But allow yourself to heal through it. And then you're going to be able to express your love with somebody else. I think something's going to come in very soon for some of you. Um, you know, clearly decide what you want and start asking for it. Start manifesting it. Start throwing that energy out into the universe. And I'll tell you, it's, it can work uh, if you do that. So start manifesting, scripting, and, you know, journaling what it is you want in a relationship. But 
On the other hand, you have to get off the couch and make yourself visible, which means you need to market yourself. And that is maybe some of you need to get, you know, involved where you're going to be seen, where you're going to be able to be noticed. Uh, and maybe that's on a dating app. And in this day and age, it's a very modern thing to do. Everybody does it. Pick and choose the ones that you feel you can trust, that you like. And you know what? That's why we have a swipe and a delete button. Don't get stressed out about it. Uh, the world has someone for all of us, and there's a lot out there that aren't for us. So keep that in mind. You could be meeting somebody very soon. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to uh, decide what you want, and don't be afraid to make that first move. Okay. Let's see what we have here for your outcome. What do you need to relinquish, surrender to? Uh, the changes in your life that are coming in, you need to be made aware of, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what we have here for our Sagittarius. Wow, well, they're throwing them out on the desk here. Surrender to low self-esteem and surrender to denial. So you deserve love and abundance. So set that intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So step up into your truth. Know that you're beautiful, okay? Know that you have the right to make choices that will be the right choices to bring you the happiness that you want. Stop putting yourself down, okay? Stop putting yourself down. It's not necessary. You're beautiful and you deserve to be happy here. Okay, this could be obsessive thinking here, uh, you know, saying, oh, I can't do this. It's not going to work out. I'm not beautiful enough. I'm not outgoing enough. Let it go. Okay, step up into your power of positivity and your um, confidence level. What we throw out into the universe comes back to us, right? So surrender to denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions and choices, okay? So see, see the truth. Look at it in the face. Know uh, exactly where you're going and let go. Don't, uh, you know, everything isn't butterflies and roses. We have to lift the veil. We have to be able to look at life without those rose-colored glasses because sometimes it'll come back to bite us. So make sure you don't go into denial. Make sure you're looking at a situation that's going on around you, the circumstances, with complete clarity. What do you need to focus on this week? Let's see. Let's see what you need to focus on this week. Let's see what, whoops, well, there it is. Thank you, Spirit. Make each day count. Well, live in the moment, right? Um, it's great to plan your future, but you need to live in the moment. And uh, realize that uh, we need to do that. We need to realize that we need to be happy and be open to everything that is in our life right now. You know, each day, you know, is a new day which affords us a brand new outlook and choices to make. Yesterday's gone forever. And, you know, we never have to relive that again. Now, with each new day, count the moments and fill each one with compassion. Discover things about yourself you never have before. Involve yourself in new activities such as volunteering or learning to play maybe a musical instrument or take up art or maybe a hobby you never thought you'd like, okay? Nurture the people in your lives right now and assist them in seeing themselves differently as well. Learn from all those before you who have made the mistake of waiting for tomorrow to forgive, to love, to smile, or even do something they had a passion for. And at the end, it left them with nothing and regret. So don't hold back, my beautiful Sagittarius. Live in the moment and enjoy every breath and make it count. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon, Sagittarius.